Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are joining us for this story time, welcome, I'm happy to see you. My name is Miss Gemma. I do story time virtually every Saturday from the Barnes & Noble Scottsdale Instagram. And I'm so excited to be here with you today to read our special Halloween story time. Very spooky. We're going to read Room on the Broom today. It's by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. And I love this book. I hope you do too. Are you wearing a costume right now, wherever you are? What costume are you wearing? If you're not wearing a costume, what costume do you wish you were wearing? That is a fantastic costume. Well, let's get started, shall we? Get very comfortable wherever you are. Get all cozy. We're going to get started. Ooh, what do we see here? I see a witch's hat a bow, a wand, and a broom. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen with those. Ready? The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. I have my cat here to help us out. Can anybody purr or meow like a cat? Go purr or meow, meow. Great job, that was fantastic. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Can you blow like the wind, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> I felt that wind from here. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. Do you hear the dog? Here it comes. <gasps> woof, 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 woof. Can anybody bark like a dog? Woof, 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 woof. Good job. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Do you see it flying away? Oh dear, oh dear. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow but no bow could be found. Then, out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her, bra her braid in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? <gasps> Do you see the bird flying up? There it goes. <gasps> can you make a sound like a bird? What sound does a bird make? Tweet, 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 tweet. That was a good bird sound. Yes, cried the witch, so the blur bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. More wind again. Can you make the wind sound? One, two, three. <gasps> Good job. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found.
Then all of a sudden, from out of the pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? What sound does frog make? Go ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Can you make a frog sound? Ribbit, ribbit. That was a good frog sound. Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... What's gonna happen? That broom is getting pretty full. See, so far we have the frog, the bird, the cat, and the dog, and the witch. That's a pretty full broomstick. The broom snapped in two. Oh no. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh dear, what's that roar? I am a dragon as mean as can be and which with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. Ooh, that's a scary dragon. Have you ever seen a dragon? They're pretty scary. I wonder if I'll see one on Halloween. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. Hold on a second. These look familiar. I think we know those four heads. Hold up there. That dragon looks pretty scared though. I don't think he knows. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but, but now I must fly and he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be on that dragon's inside. They saved her. They're such good friends. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. Can you help stir? Get both your hands, put them out. Stir the cauldron, stir it up. Okay, very, very good. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose, what do we think it's going to make? A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. 
Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. The end. Look at, there's all of her things flying away again. Yay, did you like that story? I always love that story. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for this story time. I had such a wonderful time with you. Um, I hope you have a happy Halloween. Stay safe, have fun, and we will see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs>